an open culture event. We've brought artists from across the region, from across Merseyside. Uh, there's both amateur and professional artists alike taking part. What we refer to as an Italian street painting competition where the works are done directly on the ground in pastels and chalks and they're using um, a theme of classical works throughout the galleries on Merseyside and, and sort of the walker, the Sudley, the lever, anywhere through Merseyside and interpreting them in their own style. hoping that this is the first of many uh, to come. Uh, there's, a, there's some great prizes up for grabs this evening. We're going to be having an awards reception um, in Maggie Mays tonight in the Carlin Gallery. We've only had five weeks to do it in, um, so everyone's applied on the internet and downloaded their uh, application forms. And um, this, is, this is the result of it today. And we're going to have the judges coming down throughout the day. Um, we've got Phil Redmond, we've got Ian Jackson from... Uh, uh, liverpoolart.com. We've got, uh, who else? Peter Dover from Hope Uni. We've got uh, Mike McCartney coming down to judge as well later this afternoon. And just to mention that within the James Carlin Awards, we've also got an Adrian Henry Award, because obviously Adrian was a poet and a visual artist for many years in the city. Um, and it was sad, you know, obviously when he passed away. But we've got Catherine, his partner, coming along, and she's going to be judging as well. So Catherine and I are helping judge for the Adrian Henry bit so of the, the this creativity festival. and originality. Oh, see, it's kind of the Irish Emigrants Centre in Liverpool. It's in the Walker Art Gallery. It's kind, of, it's a mural painting in there. Uh, the, the guy was influenced by Diego Rivera a lot. It's an Edward Burns Jones painting, and uh, it just appealed to me with all the colours. And I just going to change it a bit instead of a. The angel playing a flute, she's going to be playing a saxophone. Uh, I found this image up in the minute in the Lady Lever Art Gallery. Um, I basically wanted to bring my own little bit to it. I was, there, there is some wings that go down on the original, whereas in this one I've brought them up more like the Liver Bird building, so that then, um, you know, basically it brings it a little bit into the city. I'm going to put the twig of the Liver Bird in its mouth as well, just so it's got a bit of a different spin on the idea. Uh, she's such an interesting character. Uh, I thought it would be a, it would be good to do. She's got an incredible face and her hands are like hard working woman. <laughs> That's a picture of uh, Bonaparte who crossed the San Bernard's Pass between Switzerland and uh, Italy. It was uh, I haven't showed this because I'm French. Just I showed this um, because it's more realistic. You know, what I mean, like more historical things. Not. A big lie, like David, I've done, and uh, quite enjoy. It's a big piece uh, in history. There is a link with English and French. There's two paintings. The lambs are in um, the walker, and the scapegoat is home and hunts it in what sunlight. I've chosen this thing because it's my sort of take on what's happening in society now. A lot of people acting like sheep, selling all the shares, scared, and they looking for a scapegoat. Perseus riding Pegasus and um, rescuing Andromeda from like a dragon, but a change is setting a little bit to, um, I think it's called the ruins of Holywood. It's Samson and Delilah, a classic love story, for one. Fascinated by the, the relationship between men and women and why it always goes, you know, one way or the other, and there's, you know, it's just that thing, isn't it? We can never quite work each other out. Playing Flaghorn, Edward Byrne Jones, basically. Um, but what I've done with her is I've tried to bring her into this century. So um, I funked her up a bit, you know, changed the hair, changed the instrument, and I've had her looking up and looking at you, not looking down. The Rape of Europa. Um, Zeus who was renowned for turning himself into different animals, coming down on the earth and running away with women. This is one of them, but this is, my pun is like, who have you had off by? The tainted, the tinted Venus, uh, Undyne, and Time is Precious by Rossetti. They're all sculptures in the Walker Art Gallery. And um, 
the art on Venus is so lovely and so beautiful. And it caused such a stir when it first came out because the marble is tinted pink and it was so flesh-like that people gasped. It was a painting by uh, James Tisho uh, at uh, in 1877 of uh, a wealthy cotton broker's wife and her family. <clears throat> and I wanted to juxtapose, if I have time, uh, the picture of J uh, James William Carling uh, with his begging bowl. It was based on Andromedia and Perseus, right? Perseus is a hero. He's something like Superman. And uh, he's going about his daily routine and he's flying somewhere and he sees this damsel in distress. Um, in Rome, the Michelangelo one, um, creation of Adam. So I thought I'd kind of rearrange it and make it into the creation of football. Um, God created football. Is God a red? Is God a blue? That sort of thing. The artists are great, and there's going to be judging who's going to, to win this competition. I think that's going to be very hard to do that. And lots of people have just stopped us, they've walked past, and some have stopped and had a good look, some have just glanced to see what's going on. And that's what it's all about, really showing the area coming to life, showing the vibrancy, showing what we've got, and being part of the local community and just people going about the business. This is exactly what a European capital culture should actually be um, encouraging, isn't it? You know, sort of people creating their own culture, not just sort of consuming it. So it's brilliant. I think we'll be looking for creativity, you know, <laughs> originality, um, good use of the form, etc., etc., etc. We are going to continue being a cultural city. We should be encouraging this kind of thing, you know, right across the city, not just not just in one space. You know, it's a great expression, and um, because the other thing is, it'll only, unfortunately, it'll only last as long as the rain, so there's no, there's no real environmental issues, is there? The clouds have opened. Unfortunately, it's uh, the public can't see it at the moment because the rain has obviously uh, necessitated the covering of the images with the plastic. So I'm trying to do my judging through this haze of semi-transparent cover, and uh, I'll do my best while the rain holds off. Yes, yeah, quite technically and some uh, talent here, isn't there? I'm looking forward to having a proper look round, and um, I've got to decide with the others who's, who's the winner is. A lot of people here, it's obviously very popular, drawing a lot of people here. And uh, despite the rain, it's, um, it looks like it's been a good success, yeah. It's an amazing event. I mean, everybody's absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm working as a project from Open Culture's point of view. You know, it really has shown how local artists really want to get involved. You know, you can just see everybody really, really loving it. It's just, just incredible. And Urban Canvas have been supreme. The artists use pastels, chalk pastels, in order to recreate big pictures on, on the pavement. I, for the first time, I've noticed we have two angels. I don't, I don't know who's it is. This is Kojak. Kojak, I think it's Kojak. Kojak. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not even on. It's uh, called Leaf a Glow. It's one in the It looks very similar. Similar. Yeah. It might just get there, yeah.
mum. I've never heard like so many people clap whose fingers are killing them. <laughs> Five weeks just kind of like putting it all together and to see it come off and, and um, uh, see the winners uh, absolutely delighted everyone the atmosphere in this room is fantastic it's uh, it's been it's been more than worth it and it's probably been one of the most enjoyable events that we've ever organized and uh, I think we'd definitely do it again next year <laughs>